and day You are the one Only you need the moon For under the sun Whether near to me or far No matter where you are I think of you Day and night Sounding the horn on Marian Anderson. Marian Anderson, born February the 27th, 1897 in Philadelphia. She displayed incredible vocal talent even as a young child. The oldest of three girls, Anderson was just six years old when she became a choir member at the Union Baptist Church where she earned the nickname Baby Contralto. Her family couldn't afford to pay for formal training, so members of her church congregation raised funds for her to attend a musical school for one year. Anderson remained committed to her church and musical ambitions by learning and singing all the musical parts, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass, until she had perfected them all. Much of Anderson's life would ultimately break down barriers for African American performers. Mm -hmm. In 1939, her manager tried to set up a performance at Washington, D.C.'s Constitution Hall. She was turned away due to the policy being a place strictly for white patrons. When word leaked out, it created an uproar led in part by Eleanor Roosevelt, who invited Anderson to perform instead at the White House, the first African-American ever to receive this honor. In 1955, the gifted contralto singer was singing spirituals and opera arias and became the first African-American to perform as a member of the New York Metropolitan Opera. Over the next several decades of her life, Anderson's stature only grew. In 1961, she performed the national anthem at President John F. Kennedy's inauguration. Two years later, Kennedy honored her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. After retiring from performing in 1965, Anderson set up life on her farm in Connecticut. In 1991, the music world honored her with a Grammy Award for lifetime achievement. Her final years were spent in Portland, Oregon, where she died there of natural causes on April 8, 1993. Sounding the horn on Marian Anderson.